I'm traveling in the Smoky Mountains today along the Blue Ridge Parkway, over 5,000 feet in elevation, and I'm traveling with three of my favorite boxer dogs, Rebel, Sable, and Brutus. They're all 13 years old, and they still love going on vacations. Some people think that cancer is a death sentence for a dog, but often that's not the case. Two years ago, Rebel had a 14-pound tumor removed from his spleen. He's also had a mast cell tumor, and he currently has a two, two tumors on his bladder, but he's doing just fine. We're up at 5,000 foot elevation, not seeming to bother him at all. Got Sable to my right, and then on my left, Brutus, who's had various tumors removed at different times. Uh, right now, I think he's got a brain tumor because he occasionally has seizures. So if you ever have an animal and it's diagnosed with cancer, don't think that's the end of the line. A good diet, good nutrition and proper health care, and animals can live a very long productive life, often years and years beyond their diagnosis, sometimes recovering completely. Even when they have special needs, I'll still take the dogs with me, like Brutus here. He's totally blind right now, so he has a guide dog back home, Rutherford, who leads him around. Uh, but on this trip, I'm just keeping a close eye on them and taking them on the trails on the mountain here and Rebel and Sable, they're also having a good time. I have to be careful not to overexert them. Both Brutus and Rebel sometimes will collapse if they're having trouble uh, from too much exertion. The biggest concern right now is that none of these guys fall down the mountain because we're 5,000 foot up sitting right next to a cliff. So be careful everyone. You too Brutus.